Hello guys, this is Adamana Cap, and today I'm going to show you how to work with cosmological data. So first of all, there is a very simple, there are different, different data sets. For an example, if you want to work with CMB or you want to work with the direct measurement of the Hubble parameter. So here we are going to approach uh, the later one where we are going to take the data where Hubble parameter is directly measured. So if you want to just understand what is the expansion of the universe and so on, and it is you know a bit simpler because uh, because you don't want to work with any cosmological perturbation and so on so if you have any complicated theory you can easily estimate what is your parameter uh, space and so on what are the constraint of your uh, uh, theory and so on hubble parameter So for that, you have to just uh, you have to arrive on github.com and you have to make your own account and so on. And from there, when you are done with the making your account, you have to search over here, simple MC. So this is the simple MC and there will be a lot of file you will pop up over here. So you don't have to uh, just rely on this one, JA, VAZ, QVZ, simple MC. So you have to hit over here. And this is again, uh, this is, uh, they have already uh, made a Python or Python code in such a way that it is taking the data from BAO data, SUS data, or uh, uh, different, different, you know, uh, SNI1 data, SN1A data, and so on. So it is just using the expansion of the uh, matters that updated version of simple MC code for cosmological parameter estimation where only expansion history matters. So you don't have to require any, given this, given this at zero, you are not required to give anything except this one. Okay. So the code for cosmological parameter estimate where only expansion of history matters, simple MC contains several tools to perform parameter estimation and maximum likelihood estimation. This code is not independent of a re replacement of Cosmo MC. Cosmo MC is, you know, the parent code. It simply replacement the homogeneous part of Cosmos, Cosmo MC, uh, Cosmo MC code. So in Cosmo MC, there are homoge homogeneous part, non-homogeneous part, right? So here it is just replacing their homogeneous part with a little bit something and this allows one to fit bow data as any as any ion supernova data cosmic chromometer and f sigma 8 among others any crazy model can be implemented without much hassle and very quickly one just need to define how hubble parameter varies with redshift yes the friedman equation you have to write it and it might also be useful to paradigmal reasons so if you want to understand the documentation over here you can easily uh, you know go through and you know start with the uh, a documentation okay so i am going to you know show you that how you're gonna uh, install it so first of all if you are working in windows you know so many people are working in windows or uh, maybe linux so you can use this command to uh, cloning it or to install this one so first of all i'm going to show you that how you can if you are a windows user how we can um, start with this simple mc code so first of all what you require to is the git desktop right so search git desktop and from there you have to install it your desktop version so there it will give window download for windows 64 bit so according to your bit it will download it install it okay and then you will uh, see some uh, a different uh, button and so on so i am just typing this this is like a github okay so this is the desktop desktop version of the github right so uh, what I require, what you are required to do is that you have to install, you have to say that where you want to install it. So make sure that you do not store, you do not want to install this whole thing, whole uh, simple MC files, not in the C, uh, not in the C drive because C drive is having all your programs and so on and might be if you are using any solid state drive. So it is already, you know, you get, we will get maybe uh, 500 MB, 500 GBs or 250. So it is not very much great. So what you can do instead, you can say that you can make a GitHub folder in a uh, in a maybe any any other drive where you have hard disk and so on. Then you can select it. So you don't have to require anything, right? So once it is done, you will ha you can you know extract anything like uh, clone again. They have already seen that. Okay, you can clone again. I don't want to clone again because I have changed my directory and so on. So you will find that you have to require to clone it, and it's a kind of very easy one, right? So over here, once you have already cloned it. So these are the files that is already there, as you can see over here, all the files will be there, right? 
so now there is another ways there are a lot of ways to you know uh, work with this thing so what i used to prefer to do is that we can i can work with the using vs code vs code so you can easily install the vs code just by searching over here vs code okay so this is the code editing software where it is giving you a lot of tons of you know uh, things which is you know very amazing and so on after going VS Code, what you have to require is that you have to go to an extension and you have to download few of things. Like for an example, you have to you will also work with the Jupyter Notebook, so you can just uh, search Jupyter and so on. You can you have to also require the Python to compile every Python thing. So you have to require you have to just give the Python and so on, so that it will give you some environment and so on. Now once you are done, what you are required to do, you are. Uh, you have to make some file okay you have to create a workspace how can you create create workspace so from here you can say that okay i want to create a workspace or you can uh, select new file or new text file whatever new file and what kind of file it should be like if you want to create a jupyter file or just only python file or so on so if you want to work with jupyter file you can just create a jupyter file in the same directory for an example i want to create a new file and just jupyter notebook over here then i have to save this jupyter file so where do i want to save it so since i have made you know simple mc is over my here so i have i will uh, so it will it will take an extension of json and then i have created just like my test right because you know you have already you already have these uh, python files right for an example uh there is a simple in simple mc there are already a python file they had already uh you know uh, denoted so these are just a python file now you have to you are required to open your uh, cell command or anything and then you have to execute that okay run this python command but i want to do it without using any command prompt so i can use i can use it using my interacting feature that is giving me the jupyter so what for that purpose what you require to do you have to go for file and then you have to you know use the add work folder to workspace so you can use this which folder you want to uh, you know add in this because i have already created my workspace and so on so i am going to use that okay use that only workspace and then you can because there is my simple mc and then i just click it and then add it then there will be the addition of all this thing. so here there are there are my different files and on the top of that file i have uh, extracted the whole simple mc file so it is not going to give uh, get in this uh, different file it's just you are giving that okay i can work with different different files in the same workspace now when you have already extracted all the workspace what you are required to do first of all you have to uh, there is a requirements okay because there are a lot of computations involved and you have to lot of you know import lot of several files in order to you know uh, work with it, work with these things so they have already given you the requirements that is full that is uh, that you are required to ex in some extent okay the full extent if you want to compute each and everything of this simple mc so what you are required to do you have to just i have used my my testing dot ipynb what you require to do is that just, just pip install for an example there are a lot of things like um for an example you have to use you have to first uh, uh install numpy scipy science pi sciikit learn so in the in their file you will see that this is xklearn so the xklearn has been updated to sciikit dash ler right and then you have to find because there are a lot of derivatives will be involved therefore you have to download uh, derivatives matplotlib for the plotting deep for the uh, it is giving you that the parallel computation for the deep so therefore you have to also compute deep mpi 4py it's giving with the all the messages and so on so it is a very structured way now corner in the matplotlib you have a corner and this corner is you know for multi dimensional plots and so on and get distribution is for plotting the monte carlo simulation because when you have a lot of data and you want to you are required you are required to uh, uh run monte carlo so there is so using the git disk you will have the monte carlo and then it will plot all these things now fgi vn so fgi uh Venex is a python software for plotting the posteriors in the function and the posteriors are such that the posterior distribution is a crucial for making a statistical inter inference in cosmology it allows scientists to estimate the most likely value of cosmological parameters for an example, you are working with lambda CD model, the edge zero are the cosmological parameters or the, for an example, you want to, uh, uh, you know, measure the edge zero, but you have the parameters like omega radiation, the uh, radiation density, 
or the skill factor or maybe the uh, uh, measure density and so on. So there could be various cosmological parameters, right? So it will help you to estimate the cosmological parameters and assess the uncertainties and compare the different model hypotheses. So suppose you have different models, then this FGI BNX will, you know, help you to estimate uh, the you know, likelihoods or the hypothesis that how good it is. So it is working on the Bayesian statistics, right? Now TQDM, TQDM shows the progress bar number of iterations means that how much, uh, how much the computer is taking time, what are the iterations and what are the frequencies for iterations and so on. And num difference, I, I told you that it is, you know, using the automated differential tool, SKI, SCI, KIT learn. So it is using the machine learning mechanism, data analysis part. So if you have a lot of data, you need a nice, uh, uh, you know, output. So you have to analyze those data and this skit learn will help you in a very greater step. Now, SCIPY is an open source library for solving mathematical, scientific, engineering, and technical problems. It allows you to manipulate the data, visualize the data using wide range of high level Python parts. And NumPy is again, if you want to, you know, create the array and all these things. So it will work with the linear algebra, Fourier transformation, and matrices. So these are the essential uh, requirements. And then you have to first use this create environment. When you have all these things, you will just use the create environment and you can just say that, okay, I use VENB data. And then from there, you will have the same because you have already made a simple MC. So you can just use the simple MC. And then you have uh, you have various, you know, Python uh, versions like I have Python 3.9, 3.11, 3.10. So it is better to use 3.9 version and which I downloaded from Microsoft Store. That's why it is saying that it is showing me that you have 3.9.13 and so on. Okay, right. So once it is done, okay. So once it is done, what you what you are required to do? So you, now when, uh, you have to click it and then you have to say that, okay, which things you are you want to install the requirements dot slash folder text or requirement this so you can okay you can sell it on whatever you can uh, sell it all these things right so now when you have created this uh, version environment then it is come to part of uh, my testing dot ip yp so here you can uh, use uh, th this one that okay pip install dash r requirements dot text and then everything will if it is uh, you know everything will be already stored right you don't have to write every time but if you want to um, uh, all time installation so what you can uh, if you want to install manually what you can do you can say that okay pip install pandas or pip install matplotlib pip install anything like uh, scpy numpy and uh, Pat, uh, matplotlib uh, numdiff tools and so on so you can use a different different time and then it will show now these are the output that okay downloading pandas downloading tz data and then you can say that okay successfully install pandas so this this one is very important message right and then second one is that they will show that okay your pip is not uh, updated so you have to update it so for the updation part if it is so then you can write the pip install slash slash upgrade p you don't have to require this one just write this one pip install slash slash okay dash dash upgrade and then uh, space then pip and when you have done all these things, then I, it will automatically, you know, install uh, the upgradation of it. And then you have to restart your kernel. So here is a restart. So when you have um, installed each and everything, then you can just simply restart it. So once you will restart, then your uh, compilation will already fresh and every, uh, uh, you know, packages have been already downloaded or stored in this uh, Python version. So you have to make sure that once you have selected this python 3.9 then everything whatever you have installed it will just install for 3.913 it will not install for 3.10 and 3.11 and maybe 2.7 if you are using it right so once you are get with all these things then what you require to do is that there is you know test.py they have already made the test.py so they are they have they have, they have given the output that okay from simple dot driver mc because you have already uh, installed the simple mc so driver mc then import driver mc and then read all settings from any file there is a in initial file they have already uh you know this is this is one of the one of the initial file right so from simple mc driver import driver mc sampler emce there is a sampler okay and then there is an analyzer analyzer executive analyzer post process you don't have to require to understand all these things right now so what you can do is that you can just say that okay because you know people are saying that uh, people will uh, you know they have made a documentation where you have to you know use the shell or anything so for, if you want to use the jupyter and you want to compile everything from jupyter what you can do is you can uh, you can use the percentage sign percentage then run these are the argument for any uh, python file you have to you want to run 
then percentage run test.py because this is the name of this test.py right so this is the test.py so from here you can see that these are these are the simple uh, sampling so uh, my python is running so this is name is skip and all these things so these are the free meta free parameters they have already given in this test.py that o omega m which is the density of the matter obs2 so this is uh, the baryonic density which is 0 0.02 and then from there they have given that this is the h that they have found 0 0.6821 and running only one chain without mpi there is no any uh, mpi chain so they are these are the bounds what are the bounds 0 0.1 0 0.02 0 0.4 and all these things so starting the chain there is a you know they have already given some data for the test for testing one so they have you know computing the uh, covariance matrix and now they have shown that what are the number of uh, steps accepted likelihoods and then the, so it will you know compute for like a five five point six minutes right so it will it has taken to run for this simple one five point six minutes then they have computed the covariance uh, matrix and then they have saved it in the code mat file okay and then from there they have used this text file and then you have uh, they have plotted this uh, they have taken this get this code and then they have again found the matrix and from there they have estimated that your omega uh, uh, omega m error density 0 0.33 omega baryon in which we are made up of which is 0 0.022 and then they have estimated the h which is 0 0.67 so what they have started they have started from the omega m omega b so because you have to also supply it and then from there they have used the data and you are they will uh, try to you know this um, mega covariance matrix they will find the eigenvalues and all these things and try to you know um, uh, uh, what you can say that converts this matrix and estimate the uh, lower values, right? And then from there, you have they have computed the information criteria, which is AIC twenty point uh, five zero two. So this is how this is the uh, step by step process. It has taken five minute forty one seconds to compile all these things to start it to get started with simple mc dot py in the Jupyter notebook in Windows, right? So many of you can uh, many of you can do the same process subsystem you can install the linux subsystem using by uh, going to at by you can download the linux subsystem from this uh, microsoft store and then you can have to uh, download the wsl uh, remote server and from there you can again without using uh, windows subsystem you can just directly uh, do it but you know if you are completely working with the python then python does not care about it which operating system you are in because it has already have you have already created the virtual environment and from there it can take everything right so you have to just you know think uh, that which py which python uh, you are working with you have to uh, uh, set up each and everything you have to extract these files clearly and you have to use your uh, git cloning uh, nicely and you have to install these packages uh, perfectly right and you you said think that your pip must be you know upgraded and if it is you know i am using again 22.2 .2 because it is not letting me to update uh, but right so it will keep on giving this message so well, no no problem it it will it can give you these messages perpetually but do not care about it because that is the most important that is it installing all the uh, all the packages perfectly or not so once it is already installed then you have you know this is a very big file you have to compute all these things how to change the models there are different different you know uh, models there for an example you can uh, see over here this is the test uh, uh, test uh, slash uh, calculator to pi. So once we have done with this thing, I can just write uh, that. Okay, I want to test it. So I'm going to write uh, percent is run test slash calculator dot pi. Right. So this is the. So you have to uh, you have to run it by shift and then enter, and then this is uh, they have uh, computed for omega. WACDM where the uh, equation of the state of the lambda CDM is not uh, uh, is it varying and here you can see that f sigma 8 how the f sigma 8 is varying with z and this z is for 0 to 0 point so where the universe has started accelerating and so on so we are taking the data of here and you can see that it has plotted for different different omega and omega so for minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 so these are the color patterns they have seen and this is how the things are varying so all these you know see the large large thing they are the error bar for this omega a cdm right in the later on video i will show you the step by step how to execute different different other parts how to you know fit your models and all those things so if you like this video please share to your friends and subscribe my channel this is the minato cap thank you very much